Hi everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's video is going to be very special. Be sure to stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how to get a free SPM PDF note from me. So today's video is a little bit special but however before I get started if you are new here hi my name is Alison and I'm a five-year professional English educator in Malaysia uh, if you have any questions you can reach out to me via my Instagram my YouTube my Facebook or even you could WhatsApp me for a quicker response so today I'm mainly going to teach everyone on how to write a SPM A plus essay but I'm mainly going to teach you how to write the introduction first so in today's video, I am mainly going to teach you how to write an introduction for your argumentative essay. Secondly, I'm going to show you a SPM template of writing and carving out your own personalized SPM introduction essay. The third thing, I'm going to show you this year's 2020 uh, SPM hotspot question guiding you step by step on how to write the first paragraph and telling you how you could get a free SPM PDF, a PDF note from me personally. So first of all, I'm going to teach all of you how do you write the perfect introduction essay. So argumentative essay is quite a common topic in the SPM syllabus or MUET MWET syllabus or even the IELTS. So basically, the first way to write an argumentative essay, how should you write an argumentative essay? Because many people, when they're writing the first paragraph, they will always start with sentences like, in this day and age, in today's world. Well, that is not going to help you get an A. So how do you write the perfect, or I would say, how do you write a good argumentative essay? So the first one is to have a hook statement. What is a hook? Today, when you go fishing, you know, you throw your rod into the river, you need the fish to eat your hook so you can, you know, capture and catch them and eat them. Sorry to all the vegans and vegetarians out there. So today when you're writing an essay, as usual, you need to hook your audience or maybe you need to hook your reader or maybe you have to hook your teacher to keep on reading your essay. So the first thing is that you must hook your audience. What is the first sentence that you can write that can make your reader, make your teacher really want to read your entire essay? So the first one is to have a hook statement. After the hook statement, you have to have a case study and information to back up this certain statement or this certain topic. And the final one is to express your stand. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or what is your thought? What are your thoughts on this specific topic? So how do you write an argumentative essay? It is not as confusing as it is. If you're an SPM student, the most easiest way is to make sure to have a hook statement a case study, as well as expressing where you stand. If not, there wouldn't be a very rigid point in your essay. So always remember, at the end of your paragraph, always express your stand. Okay, students? So I'm going to show you one of the hotspots of this year's SPM um, questions. Uh, so the question is, do you agree that each student should own a computer? Because right now of the pandemic, there are several hotspot questions like the pandemic is a thing. And because of the pandemic, everyone is doing online learning. Online learning requires the internet. Online learning requires a laptop, a computer. If not, you can't attend classes. You can't attend school. So do you agree that each student should own a computer? Do you agree? It is asking you, do you agree or not? So this is the SPM hotspot question that I'm showing you today. So how does a template look like? Okay, honestly, the template for an argumentative essay, I would say the easier it is, the better it is. Because if there's too many confusing steps, the essay you write can be a little bit meaningless and there's no meaning in it because there's so many points. Just write your main point. Sometimes simplicity is the best kind of essay to get full marks. So the first thing, do you think student, do you agree that each student should own a computer? I would say that I'm a student. Okay, maybe I'm not a student. I'm too old for that. Maybe you are a student. Is a computer something that all of us need? To be very honest, if you look around Malaysia, you look at every child, you look at every student, you look at every parent, they are either holding a phone, they are either holding an iPad, they are either holding a computer or a laptop. So to be very honest, 
computers are twin phase. Okay, what is twin phase? Meaning they're like twins. Uh, there's the good side and there's the bad side. So it is a boon and it is a bane. So the first way to hook your audience is to describe computers just exactly like humans. Like, did you know computers are like twin faces? They have a good side and they have a bad side. So it, it is like a boon and a bane. The meaning of boon, boon meaning pros, meaning the good sides of it, the upsides of something, and bane is the downside of something. So boon and bane are two different things. So this is the first hook statement that we're going to use for our argumentative essay. Okay, secondly, we need some case study to back our computer up. So we can write things like, the computer is an imperative machine that has become a part and parcel in our lives. Because as I said previously, we need to go online classes. We need to attend school. We need to attend core curriculum. We need to attend tuition classes. It is all online learning. Computer is a important, it is an imperative machine that has become a part and parcel in our lives. So the final, after giving a hook statement, to get your teacher's attention, the second thing is to show them your skill. Write a case study, a background information on a certain topic. And last but not least, remember to express your stand. Like, where do you stand when it comes to this topic? You can say things like, oh, in my opinion, mm, sorry to tell you, I do not agree with this statement. I don't think that each teenager or each student should own a laptop. All right, so right now I'm going to teach you step by step to guide you how to write your first paragraph. Of course, this is just a drafting. When you're doing your draft, think of a hook statement, think of a case study. And last but not least, think on how you can express yourself eloquently on this argumentative essay, okay? So I'm going to guide you through how you can write the first paragraph. I'm going to exit a little bit on. So the first thing is to write down the first paragraph. So the first thing we can write is, okay, take a look around you. It is a very convincing fact. Take a look around you. So to be honest, if you take a look around yourself, okay, we are writing the hook statement first. Take a look around you. Computers have become an indispensable. Okay, I'll explain what's the meaning later. Computers have become an indispensable feature in our lives okay in our lives so take a look around you computers have become an indispensable feature in our lives meaning it has become a very important tool in our life without a computer you can't learn without a computer you can't work but is computer really that important to a point that every student has to own it well, I said I disagree. If you're wondering why I disagree, feel free to stay tuned to the end of the video to retrieve my free SPM PDF note and see how you can get it. So this would be our statement. Okay, our statement is not done yet. We can write what we have written just now. The computers have twin faces on one side, okay? The computers have twin faces on one side. Oops, my hyphen is a typo. Sorry for that. So, okay, what can you write about it? It is a boon and on the other side, and on the other side, it is a bane. So actually a computer, there's the good side, there's the upside, and there's also the downside. Basically, there's pros and there's cons. There's upsides, there's downsides. There's the boon and there's the bane. So it is a boon and on the other side, it is a bane. So ever since, so this one would be our hook statement. And right now we are going to write about a case study. Ever since its invention, ever since its invention, few decades ago, because you know, computers were not invented last year, not last last year, it was invented a few decades ago few decades ago, ever since its invention few decades ago, the computer, the computer is an imperative, meaning a uh, very important, is an imperative machine that has become a part and parcel in our lives. So computers have, um, I would say, 
become something that is very crucial and compulsory and necessary in our lives. So we have written our hook statement. We are writing our case study. Computers are a part and parcel in our lives. Computers have become so necessary to modern living that it is difficult, that it is hard, that it is arduous. It is so necessary to modern living that it is difficult. Oops, sorry for keying too fast. That it is difficult to believe that they are a relatively recent invention. So for people who are just born this year, people who are born just maybe in the 20th century, they would think that laptops are very normal. How can people function without laptops? Some people may think that how could humans function without a, a handphone? Because they were born in a much more later year. So this would be our case study. And finally, remember to express your stand. Instead of writing, in my opinion, uh, in my two cents, why not we write something a little different than the others? Because if you want to excel, the most important thing is you have to be a little bit different than the others, but different in a way that your solution works. And Miss Allison will give you that solution. So as far as I am concerned, as far as I am concerned, express your stand. I disagree. I do not see eye to eye with this statement. All right. I do not see eye to eye with this statement. I do not see eye to eye with this statement. So the first thing I'm going to discuss about my paragraph is that the first sentence, take a look around you. I would say it is a relatively good linker. Take a look around you. Computers have become an indispensable feature. So indispensable feature, meaning something that is important in our lives. Without this feature, we can't function. So this would be a elite vocabulary, a good vocabulary for an essay. The computers have twin faces on one side. It is a boon, boon meaning a good, an upside, a pro, and bane is something that is not beneficial, something that is bad. We call that as a bane. And it is also an elite vocabulary. Ever since its invention, ever since is a, I would say, a good linker to start your sentence. So ever since its invention a few decades ago, the computer, uh, once again, an important machine, an imperative machine an imperative machine that has become a part and parcel in our lives. So imperative is a elite vocabulary. Part and parcel is a idiom and it's a good vocabulary. Computers have become so necessary to modern living that it is difficult to believe that are relatively a recent invention, that they are a relatively recent invention. So relatively is also a elite vocabulary. As far as I'm concerned, well, this is a very good way to express your stand. So this one, we're going to highlight it and I will consider this as a uh, linker and opening to join our sentence. So when your teacher, when the reader is reading your essay, they'll be very wowed by your essay because first of all, your opening, it's not things like in this day and age, it's like, take a look around you. Computers have become so important in our lives. This is a hook statement. And then you further elaborate your computer being a hook statement. You elaborate it with your case study. It is invented a few decades ago. And last but not least, express your stand. As far as I'm concerned, I do not see eye to eye with this statement. So this is our first paragraph for our SPM hotspot essay for this year. So. Now, I have finished teaching you how to write a perfect argumentative essay. Right now, I'm going to tell you how can you get the full A plus essay and how do you get the entire free SPM PDF notes. So this will end on December 20th, 31st. Oh, I'm so sorry for a typo. It will end on December 31st. You can get this SPM PDF, you can get this free SPM PDF notes from me before December 31st of 2020. So step one, if you want to get this essay, the first thing you have to do is you have to subscribe to this channel, Teacher Alison Fang, and please give me a like. After you have subscribed, if you're already a subscriber, if you have subscribed, if you have liked this video, feel free to share to your friends. 
after subscribing and liking this video, please take a screenshot of the box there that you have liked and that you have subscribed. Right after that, once you have screenshot and subscribe and like this video, I want all of you to DM me your screenshot via Instagram. And once you have sent me the screenshot that you have subscribed to this channel and you have liked this video on Instagram, my Instagram is also on Teacher Alison Fang. I will send you a direct link on the entire free SPM PDF notes and this essay uh, for free. So all you have to do, step one, subscribe and like. Step two, screenshot to me as a proof that you have subscribed and liked this video. Uh, DM me via Instagram and I'll send you the link directly. So today's video, in short, um, this is how you write a SPM argumentative essay. The steps, the study templates and the step-by-step -step guide. And if you want to get this SPM uh, PDF note, you have to get it from me by December 31st by December 31st, not 21st, all right? So that is it for today's video. I upload every Saturday at 12 p.m. Be sure to subscribe and I'll really, really appreciate it if you could share this video to your friends. Anyone who is currently facing SPM soon, please share this video to them. And that will be the end of my video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.